Hi guys, it's Adam from uh, Cool Reviews for You, and um, I'm back at you with another Lego Lord of the Rings review. Sadly, it's my last one for now until I get the other two sets I need, which are Orc Forge and uh, Battle of the Helm's Deep, and until I get the Hobbit sets. So, let's conclude this with a bang. Um, we have the second biggest set, Mines of Moria, which includes quite a bit of figs that are most of them exclusive and really cool. So let's start off with the best dwarf ever, Gimli. He's very cool. You barely, the only downfall about him is that you can barely see his body because of his beard. Yeah, other than that, it's really cool. And he's got a lot of dwarven runes on his helmet, if you can see that. Probably can't, though. Barely, though. He's got two battle axes, which is really cool. And yeah, that's Gimli. He's got short legs. And next, for the best elves, is Legolas. Prince of the Woodland Realm. He's got an elven bow, which is very, very cool. It only came with two guys so far, but they're out of sets that are out. He's got a cool lime green suit, nice pants. And, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, Gimli has a double sided face, but it's hard to get his beard off to show you all his face and everything. But yeah. He's got a double sided face, which is just him and Lego. But I haven't really seen Legolas do that in the movie, so I don't really want to show you that. It doesn't really look very good as either. And next, we got Born. The Prince of Gondor. Well, his dad's a steward. I hate his dad, Denethor. He's a bum. He's got a really cool cape. Looks like a red or burgundy type cape. He's got like hair the color of Mary's. And uh, he's got a nice sword and a printed shield. And uh, his double sided face is basically like Aragorn's. He's crunching his teeth. Do my in Frodo. Yeah. I won't spoil it for you, but he says that. Maybe. Here's Pippin, the last Hobbit that I have to review. It's got a nice scarf and uh, the same color of cape as Mary. It's got the darkest color. Uh, the he's got a light brown color of Hobbit hair. He's got a nice uh, Hobbit sword. And on his other face, he's scared. Very scared. <laughs> and now to the bad guys, which I haven't done in a while. No, well, never mind. Sorry, I forgot. Um, let's start off with this one. This one has a flail and uh got a really nice hair piece that has the ears that stick out just like legless. Because if you didn't know orcs are just um elves that are twisted by black magic. And there's a flail. And he has a double sided face, but it barely looks like anything different. It's just one of them is going like this. Yeah, that was a mega derp face, I know that. And this one's got an Urukai shield and a scimitar. Now, the best, one of the best things in this whole line of sets is the cave troll. Grrr. He's really cool. He's got, like, this chain, so you can make orcs, like, like try and drag him around, but that's not possible, because he's so fast. He's got this giant club, which you can move around like that and make him bonk his head. Got that. He's really cool. You can take it out, and you can move his wrists and his shoulders. And uh, yeah, you can only stand him up if you do, if you have him like that. If not, the weight of the hammer will bring him down. But if you don't have the hammer in his hand, then you'll stand up. You can stand him up anyway. And now let's get on to the set. We're gonna start off with the smaller parts. First we have the well, which is very cool. It's got some nice stickers on it. Oops. Yeah. Stickers. And what you do is you take the skeleton, it's wrapped up in chains in a bucket, and pretend like in the movie, Mary walks by and says, do 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 I'm bored, I'm a hobbit. I grab this lever. I'm gonna pull it out for no apparent reason. Yay! 
make the skeleton fall down into the well, wakes up all the orcs. Yeah, good for you, Mary. And then the Gandalf to come along. Fool of a pook. Throw yourself in next time. Yeah. That was my impression of Gandalf. Next we have uh Balin's tomb. I won't spoil if you don't know I won't spoil it for you if you don't know who Balin is, because he's an important role in the Hobbit. And I basically just spoiled it for you. Sorry. But here's the book of Marzabul, which is where he writes in before he dies. Yeah, who cares? Just make a spoiler alert in some of these videos. And it's got some nice runes on it. And, uh, got this little tab that you could push it open. And it opens up, and you got skeleton of Balin. Should have short skeleton legs because he's a dwarf. And, uh, now to the bigger parts of the set. Oh, and one more thing. Um, uh, there was one of these also in uh, Attack on Weathertop, but I forgot about it. This is a brick separator. You could, like, there's two bricks stuck together really hard and you can't get them out. Out, and you just use this tip and you flick it off. You can, like, make attachment attachments Sorry, on these parts. And now let's get to the big part of the set. First, we're going to start off with the gate. The gate is really cool. Here, just a second. Because uh, you could actually mimic the, the orcs bashing through the door. It's got really nice printing and runes above the door. Well, basically, what you do is you repeatedly press against the door till the axe gives way, and you just open it up and like charge your orcs through there. Really cool. You got this axe to hold the door together. And on the sides, you got some really nice stickers and a spear. And a torch. And uh, if you're wondering what this lever is here, you push it, and the rock flicks out, which goes pretty far when you're doing it. Right, range. Yeah, that's it for the gate. And uh, next, just a second, I'll take some off because the pieces will fall. And uh, I'll show them back. So, here's the big center of the set. But here you got a little dwarven library with a bucket. See the bucket? It's got a pickaxe. An axe. Dwarven axe. And a... Sorry guys. But anyway, there's a little knife in there. And uh, on this next little portion... Ah! Sorry guys. It's really not cooperating for me right here. In the next little portion, you got a skull and a torch. And usually there's a little bone right there. I took it off, make sure it didn't fall. The next portion is just a little torch. And you're supposed to be a mithril jewel. I guess it should be mithril. And at the back, got all these little notches. I'll show you what those are for after. But uh, also, also you have a spear and a bottle right there. And uh, you push the middle one. You get a treasure chest, which is filled with some ore, some swords, some knives, and some jewels. Push that back in. Next two ones, you do this. It drops down the pillars, which you could use to crush the cave troll. Even though that's not how he does it in the movie, but you could like me. Legolas dodging his chain attack, which is a really cool part in the movie. And, uh, I'll show you all the other little features that were on there. The little book, a plain book. So you get two books in the set. There was another Mithril Jewel. I just like to call it Mithril because that's one of the precious ores in Lord of the Rings. And, uh, it's found in here. There's some more little weapons. There's this weapon, which I'll put over here. Uh, put those back in the bin right here. And then you have these, which are at the gate. This like, staff, and this dwarven bow or orc bow. I don't know. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this set. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty long video. It's almost ten minutes. But yeah, I hope you guys liked my little series of my Lord of the Rings sets I got so far. So 
stay tuned for some more uh, Halo Mega Box reviews and some book reviews. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Bye.